Oh yeah, all right. Uh, let's fix that. Uh, uh. Yo, what's? Hey, what's up everyone, Brandon? I'm actually shooting a video right now. Can I call you back? First things first, I opened up AbFilter Pro Q3. I did a few cuts to pull back a little bit of the harshness that was going on within the 2K to about 4K region. So I pulled back the 1500 range by about 4 dB. I did a very narrow cut around 2100 hertz by 10 dB. This is like this weird whistle that was really getting in the way of the overheads and the room mics. I did a dynamic cut by 10 dB at around 32 to 3300 hertz. <laughs> Nice, that is, uh, that's ridiculous. That is, um, I don't know what I was thinking when I wrote that. Anyway, the second plugin that I pulled in is the SSL Native Channel Strip 2, and this has probably become one of my favorite plugins. I did a low pass at 8.85 kilohertz. I did a little bit of a high pass at 102.5, and this got rid of the unneeded low end and unneeded high end. The next stage that I took is I pulled back the 5.65 kilohertz range by 1.2 dB, and then I accentuated the 1.25 kilohertz range by 1.2 dB. This brought a little bit of bite back into this guitar tone because I think some of the prior moves that I make kind of killed a little bit of the bite. And then I pulled back on the 150 kilohertz range by a negative 3.5 dB. This move gives the bass a little bit more room to shine within this mix. <laughs> And very quickly, I pulled up the Fat Filter Pro MB and I compressed the 80 to 300 hertz range. <laughs> And of course, this is one of those plugins that get a little bit of hate, but I don't really care because it's awesome. It really does a great job of doing what I want it to do and I don't have to think too much about it. It's literally one knob that I worry about. I went up to the preset bank, I went down to Guitar Electric, and then there's this really great preset that I've talked about on this channel before, it's Guitar D-Spike by Nolly. None other than Nolly Get Good. <laughs> And then a little bit of BX refinement and I pulled that back by negative 2.8 dB. 